Welcome to the Crafty Queen channel. These are my outdoor saucer chairs and as you can see the bottoms have fallen out and I did not want to throw these chairs away because I've only had them for about five or six years but on YouTube I couldn't really find a way of fixing these chairs for cheap or not at least a way that I liked. So if you want to stick around and watch how I got my chairs from looking like this to this, stick around and watch my secret. Here is the list of the supplies that I use for each chair. Since the fabric on the back of the chair was still tight and secure, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there and just cut off the bottom fabric. And then I took the braided poly rope and I double knotted it to the back of the chair and then I started wrapping the rope around the chair from the back to the front and I did it kind of tight. Once I finished wrapping the rope, I secured it with another double knot on the other side of the chair. Now in my case, I still had some rope left over, so I'm going to start wrapping the chair going from left to right. But I'm also going to intertwine the strings going under and over the previous strings that I had. And I'll show you a close up of how I do this. So once I get to the right side, then I bring the rope underneath the chair back over to the left side and I do it all over again. With the first string, I'm going to take the rope underneath it. Then the second string here, I'm going to stay on top of it. Then the third string, I'm going to take it back underneath it. Then the fourth string, I'm going to keep it on top of it. And I'm just going to keep alternating until I get to the other side. And when this rope ran out, I just took my second pack of rope and I tied a knot to the first pack and I just continued on. When you're wrapping this rope, you want to make sure that it has a good grip on it, but it doesn't need to be too tight, just tight enough because in the end, your chair should be able to have a little bit of bounce on the rope like this. When I drape the drop cloth over the chair, I want it to stay as close to the edges of the drop cloth as possible so I could have some extra fabric left over for the end. And I just hot glued the drop cloth to itself, but I wrapped it around the edges of the chair first. And then I cut off any extra fabric that wasn't needed. I also hot glued right here in the corner of the seat as well so all the fabric would stay in place. And underneath the chair I hot glued the fabric to itself once again. For the sides I took the extra fabric and I hot glued it all along the edges of the chair. I also did it this same thing to the back as well. And this is how it turned out. You can see where I hot glued along the frame of the chair. Then I took a needle and thread and I began to sew all along the outside of the chair and the middle where the seat is. Now this is your choice. You can use a different color thread if you want it to be seen. 
um, and if you do it that way I suggest that you make some really nice stitching however I didn't really care for the thread to be shown so I used the closest color that I had to the canvas which was white and my stitching was not neat at all because once again that wasn't something that was really going to bother me. And once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I hope someone found this video helpful in trying to recover their old patio chairs. And be sure to stick around for my patio deck makeover video, which is coming up on the end screen. And I will catch you guys next time.